A long-standing tradition in Austin has become a lesson in service for one family. KXAN's Josh Hinkle has the story about Meals on Wheels and more. Thanksgiving Day started early. But that's the same house. For Cynthia Danielson, Andrea Lagrone, and their daughter Zuzu. One, two, three. The three-year-old had already watched the parade on TV before they headed over to Meals on Wheels and more. It's time to get her involved in community service and to learn to give back. You want this in the back? Side. Traveling through East Austin, their first stop was this apartment complex. 105, 105. At the top of the list. Here we bring you this flower. Rosemary Scott, who they found sitting on her porch, trying to escape noisy neighbors waiting for her meal to arrive. Happy Thanksgiving. The woman said she would have gone without if it wasn't for this family of volunteers. Usually older people that can get out of their homes and are pretty much homebound and maybe don't have family in the area. Next on the list, same complex and another elderly person in need of the meal and some company this holiday. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Willie Savage greeted them at the door and said they were his first visitors of the day. It touches my heart. It makes me it makes me feel special. So and it makes me glad that I'm doing it. Back to the car for the eight people left on their list. Part of the lesson for little Zuzu and a new tradition for future Thanksgivings. I hope that my daughter is able to kind of grasp exactly what we're doing. Luckily, just like Thanksgiving, another big corporate sponsor came through for Meals on Wheels and more for this Christmas. That means a lot of meals, but there still aren't enough volunteers to give out all those meals. Typically, a lot of people go out of town for the holidays, so that's where they need you to step up. Josh Hinkle, KXAN News. On an average day, Meals on Wheels and More gives out 3,500 meals. Each year, meal volunteers visit nearly 5,300 people. 75% of them live below the poverty line, and 67% are older than 65.